times the only reason to tell a story is to elicit a story. So if I think of myself as a leader, and if I think of my role is to have enough big and important stories to tell that have perfect arcs of a beginning, middle, and end that are going to move that cattle in the direction, because I know the perfect strategic direction, that whether it be my board or I as a leader, have come up with that perfect vision. And now I'm just going to find the stories, even if they're authentic, that are going to somehow get everyone aligned in that. That's really not probably how reality works. How does it work, though? Well, I feel that it works with each and every person becoming engaged with their thread of the story. So if you think of a big canvas, and we're taking our threads, and we're going to weave them in as individuals to create a fabric of sense, to create a fabric of meaning. We're going to give sense first to ourselves as we figure out what this direction is, what we need to do to be successful, how we need to perform our jobs, how we as an organization need to behave in order to succeed. Then I'm also, as an individual, bringing that thread of meaning. Now when those threads come together, a pattern emerges, and a momentum emerges, a flow, a movement that allows people to, in concert with one another, own individual stories that allow for solutions and performance to emerge. We can't write, we know, the three-year or five-year strategic plan and be able to move our company successfully in any kind of meaningful direction. So it has to be emergent. And I think that perhaps the greatest possibilities offered by story is that emergence.